I find with speakers there's one big conceptual leap that absolutely transforms their connection with an audience and magnifies their impact tremendously. It's the leap from just reading a speech to actually authentically performing it. Your delivery becomes a series of choices. Some of them are conscious, some of them are subconscious, but they have a deliberate goal of connecting emotionally with your audience. When I say performing, I don't mean faking it. I mean authentic performance. You're choosing the actions you need to project the emotions you genuinely feel around what you're talking about and to play off the emotions your audience is feeding back to you. These are things we do all the time in conversation. You might pause or draw out a word creating just a little dramatic tension. You might hammer home a phrase to show how emphatically you feel about it. If someone laughs at what you're saying, you might pause and smile to share that moment. And when you see a reaction from someone, even just a little squint or a frown or a head tilt, you might tack and change course a little. Some of it you do instinctively, some of it's completely unconscious reaction, but a lot of it is choice. Now, when we translate that to a larger crowd, you probably need more preparation. You won't be getting that real-time close-up face-to-face feedback. You'll still make some choices in the moment, but rehearsal prepares you for the big choices, and it helps you anticipate your audience's reactions. And rehearsal also helps you make that big conceptual leap from reading to performing. I'm not going to pretend it comes easily to everyone. For some people it does, but for others it takes a lot of work, a lot of practice, a lot of coaching. But the moment you do make that leap, speaking itself turns into a completely different experience. In some ways it's more work, but it's a lot less of a chore. Instead, it's energizing. It's even fun. And for some people who struggle with nervousness and anxiety and anticipation of a speech, authentic performance and the preparation it demands can be the way that they transmute that anxiety into energy from the stage. In other words, how you perform as a speaker has everything to do with whether you perform as a speaker. And learning to perform that can be everything. I'm Rob Cottingham.